Happy New Year to all our viewers in and around everywhere outside Ghana. And uh, I say after Shapa to everybody because, hey, this is the first show of the year, 2014. And kudos to all those who made it possible in 2013. Talking about the cameramen, the producers, the Joy Sports team, everybody. And this morning, we'll be looking at the Chan competition. And most people were disappointed at uh, the man. Um, Drogba, uh, sorry, uh, Mikel Obi, uh, the Nigerians were rooting for him to win uh, the award back, or rather unfortunate. Hey, Glow Cup Award going to the third, third consecutive time to the man Yaya Toure. Hey, congratulations, my most football connoisseurs. You were disappointed. Some didn't believe it. Some thought that Mikel Obi had achieved everything then. So why should he lose out on that? So how credible is the CAF Confederation, no sorry, the Glow CAF Awards. I mean, people have been asking questions. And don't forget, the Ballon d'Or is around the 13th. That's when the Ballon d'Or is coming on. Who goes for the big award? Is it Frank Ribery? Is it Daniel or Messi? Is it um, the man, Cristiano Ronaldo, who most people are tipping that this year is this year? Because Messi, they think that Messi couldn't perform last year. What do you also think? Does Messi deserve another award this time. What do you think? Is it Frank or is it Cristiano Ronaldo? Frank, everybody's saying that deserves it. Most people are rooting for him. Who are you rooting for? And also, we'll be looking at the Chan. I mean, how, how interested? I mean, the interest in Chan now, we hear it has been um, the interest. We are not hyping it. Most Ghanaians don't know. Is it that because the team is not um, good? Uh, may if I may put it, and uh, also, we'll be looking at some Ghanaian players who have picked from Extraordinary. And I think that they need to be called into the Black Stars. You're talking about Lee Adi, who is now playing for uh, Zagreb Dynamo. Uh, an excellent defender. He was in, out. He played in 2010, uh, South Africa. And uh, he also played. And one defender who will surely make it. So, uh, <laughs> um, the World Cup. Smile at Rashid. Rashid Smile, an excellent defender. Come what may, if you go to South Africa today, everywhere you go, Rashid Smile, Rashid Smile, Rashid Smile. I mean, kudos. But don't forget, our team will be in Chan to bring you all the live updates, all the behind the scene. King Tosh himself will be there. Well, I say, I go, I go, I go, I and uh, my, 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 my small guy, uh, that is Benedict Ozu, will also be there uh, to bring you all. The update. So I'll keep on saying if you don't have a, a diggy box, then you're missing out. This is what you need to have. This is the new year. And as I said, you're part of the show. And uh, I'll be going for my first commercial break. And when I come back, we'll go straight to the supporters union who are currently moving straight to South Africa to support the local black stars. But most Ghana, Ghanaians are not interested. We'll be finding out how many supporters are moving. And because Millennium Supporters Union, Musuga, Musuga, uh, they are getting to South Africa any moment from now. We'll be talking to the man Guntu. I'll be asking him, somebody asked me that, what is Guntu's real name? We'll be fine. So let me go for a commercial break. When I come back, straight to action. Right, as I just said, I'm still back on a sports review on a Saturday morning like this. And it's you and me right here in the studios doing the discussions of looking at the chant, how the enthusiasm is a day. I mean, some are moving, we'll be getting there. But there's one defender, as I said, he's been great. And, uh, but before, let's look at the chant itself. Chant is our focus. Chant is the base. How I know Ghanaians will be interested to know that Ghana is participating. But today is the opening games for the Chan. And let me quickly give you the, la um, the fixtures. South Africa will be playing Mozambique and, um, at exactly 6 o'clock. And Nigeria against uh, Mali is the second game. Come tomorrow, Zimbabwe against Morocco. Uganda, the next day, uh, the same group B. Uganda against Burkina Faso. And on Monday... Ghana versus uh, Congo, uh, Libya versus uh, Ethiopia in the same group C. In group D, DR Congo versus Mauritania. In the same group, Gabon against Burundi. South Africa, once again, uh, that is the second round of matches. South Africa against Mali. Nigeria against Mozambique. 
and in Group B, Zimbabwe against Uganda, Burkina Faso against Morocco in Group B, second round of matches, Ghana against Libya on the 17th of this March, Ethiopia against Congo, and uh, DR, DR Congo against Gabon, Burundi again in Group D against Mauritania, and um, Nigeria against South Africa, once again, I will be playing simultaneously. And Mozambique against Mali in Group A. And in Group B, Burkina Faso against Zimbabwe. Morocco against Uganda. Ethiopia against Ghana. Congo against Libya simultaneously in Group C. In Group D, Burundi against DR Congo. Mauritania against Gabon, all in Group D. So, these are the fixtures. And how I'm asking the interest of the champ. Who knows? Uh, are we going there in an hour's and our numbers to support the black star. Let me go to on the phone lines and see whether Millennium supporters, you know, everywhere the matches, they will be there. If it is even in uh, Papua New Guinea, they are there. In uh, Zimpeto, in Mozambique, they are there. Let me go to on the line and speak to him. Guntu, Guntu, good morning. Good morning. Uh, Guntu, uh, um, somebody just called and said, what is your real name? <laughs> My real name is Awal. Awal? Yes. Awal what? Awal. Mohammed Awal Idris. Ah, you have a nice name. So where from the Guntu? You have a nice name. Okay, Awal. The Guntu is uh -huh. from my infancy. Oh, okay. My okay. name was... Okay. You see, so my name was Bolege, so that's why uh, I was short. Oh, so that's why you are giving Guntu. Oh, so that's why you are giving Guntu. Yeah. Okay, Guntu, quickly, let's find our uh, Millennium Supporters Union. Yeah. The chant is starting um, I, um, today, if I may say, and I hear you are, you are, you are going to South, uh, South Africa with your supporters. How many supporters are going to root behind the local black stars in South Africa? In total, we are... In total, we are expecting about 74 to go and cheer the blasters. We have divided the, the group into, into three. Mm. Um, Polo, the minister of all supporters, will lead a group of 30 supporters uh, with South Africa Airways this evening. Then uh, I, the field marshal, will lead uh, 18 supporters through Ethiopia Airways. Mm. Then Koloso, the Taka, we call him Taka, he will lead uh, the, the group of uh, 10 with Namibia Airways. Then on Tuesday, the General Secretary, Sambu, will bring 10. So in, in total, we are talking about 70. Okay. So you have 70, almost 74 people going to South Africa to support the local black stars. But Guntu, I mean, uh, how are you confident in this um, team? Uh, I'm, I'm talking about the local black stars. You see, millions of us, you know, we sometimes, when the team is down, we don't mind whether the team has, uh, is without Asian or without anybody. We go there to support. We give maximum support. There are some songs that sometimes the military sports by the name Polo. Don't, don't be confused that it's Elvis. Mm. He's Polo. He, most of the time, he has some kind of, uh, some kind of Jama that he alone knows how, where, where he got this Jama from. Like, it goes like this. Bule, 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 single number. He can do this in an ad, then you see the players who realize that, hey, somebody is there, somebody is there is singing some, some kind of comedian songs. Then you see, it's in the players. So most of the time, if Polo is around, it gives the players some moral booster. But this time around, this chanting, our first edition, we uh, we did well. We did the finals. Then the second one in Sudan, we performed badly. So this is our third time that we are going, and we are we are going to tell the players that they can do it. We are going to use the Brazil to motivate the team. We are going to tell them that look in. Cote d'Ivoire, the team played uh, well. Uh, about six players were taken to Real Blaster, the Boga, Boga Blasters. So if they do well, they can also get a chance and go to the, to the Boga Blasters now. 
Oh, okay. So you mean about uh, let, let's fi let's find out. Let, let me find let me find out from you what what, what um. Uh, good to let me find out from you. Um, did did you have any support from the government uh, in terms of sponsorship for the strip? Government did not give us any sponsorship per se, but we had a very good package from the one and only hard-working African origin travel and tour company. He was able to put us down and access about our pocket. When we told him that this is what we can afford, he said, oh, my people, you see, it's not easy. But being the, uh, we, 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 he's our patron. So we told him everything that this is what he must do to help millennials with this, you know. So he's the one who facilitated all the, the visits, and then he's the one who's also pushing ahead to make sure that uh, about 30 from his side are going. He gave us uh, some kind of uh, slots. He helped us a lot. Then uh, we went to another good old friend of yours too, by the name uh, uh, Travel Matters, to seek whether we can also do something. He also did his best, and then uh, we had some little help from him. So in all, at least, these two were able to help us, and then that's why we are happy that at least after our 70, we'll make this trip to South Africa. Okay. Okay, Guntu, um, thank you very much. And uh, we, we, our team will also be there, uh, multi-TV, and I hope when they come, uh, you give them the necessary support as you did once upon a time in Mozambique. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. So that was our Millennium Supporters Union. They are getting ready. This evening they are moving to South Africa, but the interest is slow. Let me welcome the man. James Odeji, yes, Happy New Year. Happy New Year and congratulations. <laughs> thank you. Congratulations. Con thank you very you much. You have added to the population of the world. Amen. I'm the, I'm the freshest father <laughs> yes, in town. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, James, you had a supporters sure, union. Sure. But uh, let's look at Chan, the interest, James. Uh, it seems that uh, um, I went somewhere, some people, I mean, some could have said, some fanatics are asking, the interest seems to be on uh, a flat. In fact, the interest is not even there to start with. It's not there. It's not attractive. It's not uh, uh, the product of what we expect of our own local league. Mm. I was telling somebody that let us concentrate on playing our own league at a competitive and commercial level. Then we can now compete with other people who are on, the, on that so level. So you are thinking that we should maintain the champ, CAF Champions League and the Confederation? That's all. That's all I want us to do. Mm. And I want us to develop the local league very well. Uh, people are talking of lack of sponsorship. How can there be sponsorship when... All the, the play, good players uh, make exodus without any uh, notice. So I was even saying that, uh, what is the coach doing with the chanting? I think by now you should be revising notes on uh, the World Cup proper. Am I right? Mm. Uh, yes, so that is my uh, contribution and that's the way I see it. But as for the comp competition itself, I think Taf should even think of uh, scrapping it because it has not got to the level that I expect it to be. To be okay. Yes. But we're looking at um, the standard of test now with our quality we are sending to South Africa. Most people have raised question marks that we didn't pick the best of players in our local league. Do you, I, do you, do you attain to that? Yes. I listened to you, you and uh, your small boy, Ben. Mm. Uh, the stadium when the... The last time yes. they, they played the man. Uh, the you man really answer. spoke the mind of uh, everybody, including me. Uh, the uh, chanting didn't play well. And so they used this second team. I was talking to the physiotherapist mm. that I am about. He said they thought they could pick one, two, three uh, new players to add to the first team that played in Kumasi. At the end of the day, I don't think anyone was qualified. So it, it was a wasteful exercise. And you saw how the Senegalese exposed the team in Kumasi. Mm. And so what are we doing there? I don't and that was uh, the, the Senegalese and the 20 side. Yes, that one is a, they also cheated because they used a whole national team, a mm. standing national mm. team. Uh, be that as it may, uh, we should concentrate on the World Cup proper mm. and leave the Chan uh, issue alone. Because Max Okonedu has used about, uh, uh, let's say, almost two months preparing this team. And he's going to use another two weeks playing the competition. Instead of being in U Europe or even here, monitoring the, uh, monitoring the qualified Black Stars. Black stars. Uh, I was very uh, disturbed initially when I was told that uh, he's taking over from Dauda Lutron. Mm. I think Dauda or any other 
senior coach should have been left with the team, mm. whilst Maxwell concentrates on, the on his assistantship to uh, Chris Apia. That okay. is the way I see it. Okay. So that is the thoughts of James Oede, you can also join us. What are your thoughts? The Kachan is starting today and their interest. I don't know because I, I, I think that uh, the, the organizer should have given us the rights so that we could have rejected this channel. But James says that we should rather concentrate on the CAF Confederations Cup and the Champions League. Let's boost it. So we, that one will build our league. What do you also think? But the supporters union are on their way to support the team. Come what may, they need to be there. And so they are there. So quickly, let's come to them. I know Opare is today. I don't know what's happening. But um, he'll be joining us soon. Glow Calf Awards. And uh, we'll be looking at that. And when Opare joins us, he'll be talking about a chant tour as well. But quickly, if you didn't get opportunity to know the winners, and James said, there is nothing on this earth that is fair. I know. Because the whole Nigeria was on fire. Because they didn't believe it that Mikel will be here. has achieved what he showed. But why he showed? Manchester, Manchester City, <laughs> I mean, uh, star, um, yeah, yeah, to, re, to pick all, I mean, the, 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 the coveted award, I think so. And uh, for the player of the year, yeah, yeah, to re, Cote d'Ivoire and Manchester City. And um, player of the year based in Africa, Mohamed Abu Trika, Egypt and Alali. Most promising talent, and this is where most Ghanaians thought that it was wrong for the chap Kelechi Hinacho of Nigeria, uh, Hinacho of Nigeria winning, uh, the, uh, beating our own Ebenezer Asifua, who played in the World Cup and the 20. That is the next prestigious competition when it comes to World Cup. James will tell you. So why do you shift and go to an 17 and give it 17, which you and I know when it comes to an 17 age uh, for cheating? <laughs> Please, don't go there. So, Cap, I need to, you, need, you need to go. National Team of the Year, Nigeria. Youth National Team of the Year, Nigeria, and a 17 team. Club of the Year, El Ali, Egypt. Coach of the Year, Stephen Keshi, Nigeria. Referee of the Year, Hamadi Jamal, Algeria. Fair Play Award went to Nigeria supporters, the supporters of Nigeria, because they have one front, one front, and it went to them. Club. Calf Legends went to Bruno Metru and Medi Fire. And Platinum Award went to President of Nigeria. Good luck, Jonathan. African 11, goalkeeper. Uh, for the African 11 team, you have goalkeeper Vincent Iyama of Nigeria. Defenders, Ahmed Fati, Egypt. Medi Bantia, Morocco. Kevin Constant, Guinea. Midfielders, Jonathan Petropa. That chap is an excellent player. Of Burkina Faso, John Mikel Obi, Nigeria, Yaya Toure, Cote d'Ivoire, Mohamed Abutriga, Egypt, and Emmanuel Emenike, Nigeria, Asamajan Ghana, Pierre Emerick Obameyang, also making the first 11 for Africa. How do you assess the first 11 for Africa? Do you think that some players should have been included? People were talking about Kojo Samoa, and I think that Kojo should have been part of the... What do you also think the, the chance will be given to you? When the phone lines are activated, but let me get back to uh, James before that. Um, were you surprised? Yes, I was surprised. Why? Uh, because but they, you've always said that... This, no, that what I was, okay. I was surprised because they confirmed my su suspicion of them, that uh, their awards have not been in line with what uh, everybody thought. Uh, on a very serious note, I was here last year when I had a battle with Opari about uh, whether Yaya will pick it or Didier Drugwa. Uh, you know, Paris gave all the indices. You understand? All the international uh, criteria, the UEFA Cup, the, all the necessary... Uh, the league. Yeah, the league, the captainship of his team and so on and so forth. And I said, look, these people have a way of assessing their own DC. Their commercial interest is very, very important. And going to uh, uh, Yaya Turi, I, 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 I was just... I just take it as a normal thing because they've confirmed my suspicion. I asked for the award being given to uh, uh, the president of Nigeria. I don't see how that, I mean, that criteria, platinum award. That's mm. supposed to be the biggest award. And mm. it goes to the, the president of the host of Nigeria. Nation, of the host nation. But I don't think that the last time we hosted, we never had a, or we did. I don't remember. I don't think so. I think the award was not instituted at that time, mm. the platinum award. But as for the case of uh, 
uh, under 20 as a four. And I will tell you the reason. Why? The reason why you pick the one, two, three at the competition, he didn't come in. Mm. But you, you won the golden boot? He won the golden boot. Yeah. That's the... Mm. But who came second? The French boy came first. Yeah, for, 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 for uh, the best players. Uh -huh. um, uh, our own uh, chap, the young chap from uh, Nungwa. Yes. Uh, he um, won the bronze. Bronze, yeah. Uh, who won the silver? Uh, another chap. Uh, I, I, I yeah, I think that's to... what I'm looking at. Okay. When you take the one, two, three, mm. he wasn't in. That's why he lost out. But I think uh, 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 at the end of the day. But James, if, if, if the under 20 is the next to the World Cup, that's why I would have given you just a far. Mm, so what happened? That's what I'm saying. That they just so calf is not credible. It's, it, no, it's credible, but they, they live in mysterious. And that is what I will mysterious. tell you that calf is not. Let, let, let's take some um, uh, excerpts uh, maybe from. Uh, and I know I will, will disagree with James because he believes that calf has never been credible when it comes to. Um, hmm. Awards and Nigeria sweeping all the awards on your screens are uh, the ceremony going everywhere to Nigeria. But um, it, it was rather unfortunate that Ghana was missed out, uh, missed out in any of them. But Asamajan made it in the final 11. So uh, this was excerpts uh, from uh, Elali Club of the Year, Stephen Keshi winning the Coach of the Year. Uh, you can see dignitaries. Awarding him African Player of the Year. That was the moment everybody was waiting for, and that was Mikel Obi. It was a tender bolt of a shot coming from the Chelsea star Didier Drogba. And, uh, I think that Drogba for now uh, is aging, if I may say. And uh, and the man, Sandy Olise, announces, and to the shock and surprise of everybody, Yaya Toure. Of Ivory Coast winning, and I know I would disagree. And I, 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 people were questioning about our ceremonies here. Uh, but a Ballon d'Or will not even last for 45 minutes, and it's over. This is the world best player. And uh, for Africa, people will come and sing, dance, and uh, ho I'm, I'm somebody come and tell you, what, what, what are we about? It is boring. Uh, I mean, B Ballon d'Or, James, it, it starts from when Messi. And Ronaldo steps immediately. They step out of the car. Starts there. In the next thirty minutes, it is and done. That is our uh, custom. We like ceremonies. We like to please everybody. We want to Tony come and do some sort of yeah. Uh, uh, Parry come and do this year. Because so that, of please. budgeting. No, apart from budgeting, it is our culture. You remember when we did the balloting here? What's his name? This is our musician. This fancy musician. Come here, come here. No, no, no. It's uh, about five. Castro. Not Castro, I remember the name. He came with some girls wearing kimpi dresses in front of dignitaries. You remember very well at the uh, International Conference Center, yeah. I think it was uh, during the Kupos regime. I was very disappointed. I think we should change it and stick to the issues of the day, you understand? Like we want to give our award to the players or the officials, then we do that and we close the ceremony. I think it's a lesson to be learned. Sir. Okay, James, uh, let me shift to Apari. Apari, uh, today you've been late. Uh, James has, uh, <laughs> I know, the new year, when you start on a late note, definitely. You end on, you know, on a late party. note. <laughs> you know, you end on a <laughs> <laughs> Apari, uh, quickly on the calf. You always believe that calf have never been, they've never been credible. Uh, you still stand to that. And the whole Nigeria uh, were, were shocked and surprised that Mikel Obi has won everything and... Uh, he was denied the best player on the continent. Yes, um, Tony, good morning, and I'm um, sorry for coming late. Mm. Tony, I think I still stand by that um, assertion that CAF, it's, it's not that credible as they want us to believe it. I say this because, Tony, I have three or four very important issues if I were to meet the CAF president or those executives that organized this um, award ceremony um, over the weekend. In the first place, you tell you tell me that Yatui won the best African player, or he has been adjudged the best African player. Well, I don't think I should have any problem with that. But the problem is, based on what criteria 
that he actually was adjudged the best player? Is it based on the criteria that he plays very well for Manchester City? If that is the criteria, I don't have any qualms about it at all, Tony. But if it is based on your contribution to African football, then it means that we want to honor somebody that within, um, uh, under the, uh, within the year under review did so much for himself, mm. for his country, for African football. That is the belief that I get. And if he actually did go to the Nations Cup with the same um, um, uh, Mikel Obi, Mikel Obi went past he actually won the Nations Cup. Tony, am I not right? Yeah. Good. So how can you tell me that if between you and I, we walk to the finals of a competition, we, 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 walk, to the, uh, we walk to a competition, I am able to get to the finals of the competition, win whatever it tests the prestigious award for the competition. You don't get there. Then at the end of it all, my contributions are not recognized. If CAF wants us to believe that <clears throat> he actually did so much for Ivory Coast, right? They should lay it on the table. What did he win with Ivory Coast? What did Mikel Obi win with Nigeria? That should be it. They are stabbing themselves and they are their own back because, Tony, if you tell me that Yaturi did win it, right, and Mikel Obi did not, how can you also tell me that the Nigerian, the Nigerian coach, um, um, Keshi, Keshi was adjured the best coach of the period? Based on what? Based on what are you telling well, you, me that? We won the, China, um, uh, the African AFCON 2013. Yes, Tony. You won it as a coach. I won it as a player. Mm. What did you win? You didn't win anything. So if you give the coach that led the team to win that tournament, it means that you have to recognize me as well as winning the cup. You did not win it. So what yeah. contribution? Is it your contribution for Manchester City? If that is it, I don't have a problem. But I don't want you to even match him. That is the problem. You understand? Because if you go back to tell me that Steven Keshi was the best coach because he won the Nations Cup with Nigeria, I don't have a problem. That is excellent thinking. What about the player who played very, very, very important role to also ensure that the country did win the Nations Cup? You don't recognize that player as well. Yet again, you tell me that Yayaturi, Mikel Lobi, and them DJ Drogba, Tony, three of them. Yayaturi won it. Um, uh, Mikel Lobi did not win it, but he is part of the CAF best 11 players. DJ Drogba, the third best player on the, African, of, on the African continent, is not part of the best 11 CAF players. Then why are you heading towards? Mm. You understand? We are th one, two, three of us here. You won it, I don't have a problem. He was the second, I was the third. It means that of all of the players on this continent, mm -hmm. we are the three best players. Yes. Yeah. So how come that one, two, you were involved in Cavs' best 11 players, but I did not get in there? You are talking of... Uh, Didier Drogba? Yeah, he couldn't get in there. Yes. And uh, it's, it's really surprising. It, Tony, because you see, if it, it is so early in the morning to... to, to 50, 50, because <laughs> Asamajan couldn't even make it to the final five. Yes. I so think. And he made it to the yes. best 11 on the continent. Yes. So it's logically, logical. I mean... Logical. I mean it, does it make sense? No. It does not. Not giving it to Mikel Obi does not make sense. Not ensuring that DJ Ruba is part of the CAF 11 players does not make sense. You get in there, you don't recognize football, um, female football. Tony, does it make sense? Is it awards for men football? They should just come clear on it, and everybody will keep quiet. At what stage have you ever realized that any time the Ballon d'Or or what, what, what that is going on, don't they recognize female footballers? It is really important that they yes. do. Yes, we don't recognize our female footballers, mm. but every day we sit here, we want to grow female football. But don't you think that attachment of a sponsor has an influence? Looking oh, at the market, marketability of a player. Yeah. So, interest so you, interest you, you, you think the sponsor doesn't also have interest when it comes to picking world best players? It has. You have an interest, but at least the interest meets with the reality somewhere. Mm. 
Mm. At a certain point. At a certain point. The tangential point. Mm. It should not be because mm. you are the one sponsoring the occasion. If that individual don't merit it, you say we should give it. Then it means that you as CAF, as the organization, you are mm. selling your birthright to that individual. So you better not organize it at all. So is there, do you believe that it's still credible? Tony, it is not. CAF is not. Based on this particular incident, I will say it and say it again. If I am to meet the CAF president, I'll tell him straight in his face. His, he is gradually becoming a laughing stock for the organization. Have, the some, whole CAF. Some, or, or somebody also raised that the francophone factor seems to be eating up in CAF. And if we don't take time, Anglophone countries will, will, will doubt. So it, it, it comes back to the same credibility. You understand? Then it means that Isayatu and his men, they are not credible. Mm -hmm. If you want to be recognized as a credible individual who mm -hmm. did stand for a particular principle, for the truth to be told at all times, Tony, you wouldn't do certain things like this. If the Anglophone guy marries it, do you tell me that because it, it, you belong to the Francophone side, you want to give it to the Francophone guys at all times, even if they don't merit it? No. Just like we have seen. Yeah, too, he doesn't merit it. I am not saying he's not a good player. Nobody should get me but wrong. But for this award... But based on the criteria from CAF, mm. not my own criteria, based on the criteria from CAF... The coach won the best coach. Yes, based on player, what? Uh, based on what? Because he led the team to win, to win. it. And the most inspirational and the player... player there did not win it. And the gentleman... Do you remember that? In Europe, he has also Nigeria made beats Ivory Coast. Right. For what? Yes. So, Tony, based on what are you better than me? They call you one go. But you score only one go. <laughs> I mean, I, I think mean, that Apari has uh, yeah, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, sleeping dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I score one go. We are also lucky that the Francophone influence has diminished, though. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, I'm not sure. In those, in those days, it was terrible. Especially in the 70s. When the blasters were on the verge of qualifying, you see that. They will arrange in a way that a Francophone can to go uh, instead of the Black Stars. Mm. I'm very, very sure of that. Kotoko suffered a lot. Has of folk also suffered. That the influence has gone there because I think the Nigerian factor also came in and the Maghrib countries, the Arab countries also yeah. came in. But before it was pure, uh, what do you call it? Francophone. Francophone. I can give you a long list. When they were choosing the uh, food, uh, goalkeeper of the year, Thomas Nkono, Antombe, Kamini. I didn't uh, no, I'm, I'm talking of those from Cameroon. Cameroon, okay. And then when the clubs are coming, even if Kotoko had beaten Canon Sportive 3 0, and Canon scored Kotoko 2 0 in Yaoundé, now there's a replay. Have you heard it? Have, did you hear about it? Mm, no. Kotoko won the first leg in Kumasi 3 0. Canon won 2 0. And the CAF insisted that there should be a playoff, oh. that the number of goals doesn't what count. No reason. No reason that the goals doesn't count. <laughs> and then Kotoko were beating 1 0. And then they lost the cup. I was with Reverend Ozakovia and he recounted all these things with, with sadness. Mm. Yes. Okay, so 176 there is a text line of my says that nobody, I mean, calf, they've lost it. I mean, look at a coach winning, the coach of the year for winning, the most inspirational player, Mikel Obi, is not even, uh, I mean, couldn't get it. And everybody asks him if the final three was um, Yaya, Mikel, and Drogba. And Drogba falls out, out of Africa 11. I mean, mathematically. Statistically, I mean, simple logic, I mean, logical reasoning. There's a, there's a subject in mathematics that says logical reasoning. And I says that, what do you also think that did Yaya really deserve it? Maybe you, have, you, you also uh, told the line of Kaf. And James said, it is not new. It has happened before. Mm -hmm. It happens to Sekufo. It happens to Michael. He said, it happened to Samoa John when they were on the verge. It happened to Dede Ayu. And we're all disappointed. Kufo's issue was. I mean, was abysmal. Was I, to, I mean, that the he, way had, to the he has won it, has and won uh, everything changed and suddenly. So, should we really value uh, calf? I mean, I don't, I don't know how you think we can assess calf. One seven six zero and the Facebook page. You can also send a joy sports review. Uh, do you think that yeah, yeah, really deserved it? The World Cup is around, and every mm -hmm. player is trying to get active. And the one is that no player who is not active. If you're not active, let me put it that way. Your inactiveness will take you out of the squad for Brazil 2014. So players are moving.
the man uh, Samuel Inkum has moved. Uh, Majid Waris has moved. Has moved. Uh, wants to move. Jordan Ayu is now going to play for a, a nearly relegated side, uh, Sochou. And he says that he's not a superman because they are lying 19 from the league table out of a 20 team. So he says, no, he wants playing time. It's not about playing and not uh, being relegated. And uh, Richard Olele Kingston, it has been prophesied that he will reach his destination. Olele has cancelled his uh, contract with Cyprus side and moved to the Turkish side. So, loans go, and there's one player, one defender, who has been excellent, and he has been sidelined. Let's listen to this defender in the person of uh, Lee Adi. Lee Adi, who is playing for Dynamo Zagreb. An excellent, after 2010, he was missing out of action. We kept on having problems with our defense. To Rashid Smala, an excellent defender, also came into the picture. And also, Jerry Akamenko also came to... There are more defenders, but we depend solely on the likes of Jonathan Mensah, Isaac Vosa, till they all got injured until Rashid and could play back to back against Egypt for us to qualify. Let's listen to Z Dynamo Zagreb, Lee Adi, who is on top four. China, I'm from China. I came back to Croatia and now I'm uh, like I'm in Croatia now. What would you make of your level of development in Croatia? Uh, I would thank God for that move. Uh, it has been very, very successful. I went there, everything went on very well. Like, uh, I've been getting playing time, playing very well, UEFA Cup and uh, local league, Champions of Champions, and I've won all of the games. So I thank God that uh, I had that movement and it's going on well. Talking of the Black Stars, you used to be a regular member of the team. Uh, do you have any idea why you have not been called up uh, for some time now? Not, not actually, but I think we have so many players in the country which everybody have to taste the national team if uh, you are ready to play. I think the coach knows the reason why uh, he's doing all this, but I think uh, he knows the best. He, I've been calling him and he's been calling me, sending messages and... I think we have a very big uh, tournament in front of us. That's why I think he's doing all this to see the best out of the best. So I think soon I'll come back and see you rock shoulders with the other guys and see how it will be. I, have you been worried that for some time he's not been calling you, especially when you've been talking to him a lot? I'm not that worried. You know, as uh, a young guy coming up, normally you have to be you're like you have to be concerned that. You have to come and defend the flag of Ghana. But if you have not been called, you have to sit back and pray for the team because maybe if you come, you get injured or you get hurt, which you can play maybe for the rest of your life or uh, for a few months. So I think uh, anything God does for me, I appreciate it. And I thank God that uh, it happened this way because I don't know what will happen if I come. And uh, I have to work very hard and concentrate because that is my job and I have to do it very well. If I do it very well, it's easy for me to come to the national team. So why am I always uh, like uh, thinking about coming, coming, coming? You have to think about it, but firstly, you have to play very well, concentrate, and after all things will be okay. There are still another five months to go for the World Cup. Do you think you can make the squad? Yeah, of course, I can make the squad. I think uh, we have a lot of players. It doesn't mean that the people who play the qualifiers automatically qualify to go to the World Cup. There are a lot of guys there who is also doing very well, who is also fighting very hard to come back. So it's the coach's decision to make uh, the final selection. And it's the players, uh, listen, it's another task for the players to work very hard for them to be selected. Maybe a lot of you will be will be world fit and will be will be, uh, will be in good shape but not all of you will go so it's up to the coach and it's up to the players to be on good shape and uh, God will decide and, and like God will decide who will go right that was one of the uh, defenders you heard him speaking and uh, of our lone galo and one, 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 one encouraging one is Richard Olele Kingston. Because when you are not active, Kwesia Pia said it. It seems that Kwesia has been listening to us that inactive players are not going to play. 
But but when you make a loan move and you don't play, <laughs> Tony, you see, um, is it about switching or this? Blow? This should only tell all of us, um, especially because we see up here that the players are only desperate to to be at um, Brazil 2014. It's as oh, simple just. as that. The players are very desperate to be there. So if like James wants to go back to his playing days, he wants to just <laughs> Tony. If it is not about desperation, right? How on earth would you tell me that for all this while, Samuel Nkum has been clubless. When he joins the club, he doesn't get playing time. He sits redundantly, but he still goes ahead to be invited to the national team. Kwesi Apia said one point in time that he was one of his best players. Then all of a sudden, when there was that U10 from Kwesi Apia that, if you don't play regularly, you're not going to be part of. You're not team. going to be part of my team. Then all of a sudden, it becomes something else for the players. Everybody wants to move because everybody wants to be guaranteed enough playing time. And you know the interesting thing is that, I understand, it is part of Samuel Inkum's contract, the new agreement that he has to play football every week for his new club. I've never seen such a contract anywhere in my whole life before. No, what, what I know that you can put it that it could be open and it needs to be a regular. Absolutely. No. Yeah, Jim, maybe but, James. But, okay. Yeah, sure. But you can't insist. Tony, this, so what, what this, from this clause? This is, this is not about I have to get at least 70% of playing time. No. No. That I have it, seen several Weekly years. play. I have to play every week. It is part of his contract. Then there's an agenda somewhere. That is, that is why I am telling you that it is about desperation. The guys are desperate because they want to go to Brazil. So let him play. This that is, is an amount. You, if it's even 50,000, give us 10,000. That 10, is it. 000. That is why the players will move and they will come back to tell you that I didn't move because of money. Because he knows the big money will come from Ghana. Mm. That is what is his ultimate aim. Opa has really revealed certain things. I keep on this the show. And uh, we are maybe some will side with him. Some will about later when the phone lines are activated. But 1760 is the text line. Let's have your contribution before the phone lines are activated. You understand? Mm. I've never seen such a contract anywhere in my whole life. If it is there, I don't know about it, but maybe, I have not seen that. Maybe before. Ghana, Ghana coaches, local coaches association general secretary <laughs> will come in. I know we'll be looking at Duncan's issue whether he had any yes, idea. Yes, yes, yes. He's a rich man now. <laughs> so you that, see, Tony, that is peanut for Togbe. But what decision or what informs the players that if you move and you begin to get playing time, it means that you'll be invited to the team. For Kwesi Apia to also make an additional statement that players like Majid Waris, Mike Lesien, and um, the goalkeeper, Who your friend, no, Fatal Fatal Daouda. Daouda. whether they play, they do not play, they are part of his team. Mm. Tony, what kind of statement is that? Mm. If you tell me that whether Uncle James plays first team football or he doesn't play first team football, I am taking a gem to Brazil. Then he better not force himself or, or push up to play any good football anywhere. It means that you are sending an indirect message to the rest of the players that, look, these are the ones that, come what may, they will be part of my team. For the rest of you, you only have to work hard before you will be able to get into my team. You get it? Mm. If you say you don't play regularly, Tony, it means that for the first instance, we have to be looking at your friend, the goalkeeper, Fatal Daouda, Mike Lesien. Do they play regularly? Mm. We, we have to use Kwesi Apia's own words as the measuring rod. So when did he come out to say that um, he was going to... The same day he made that statement that whoever does not play regularly oh, okay. will not be part of his team. But for Fatal, yes, Michael for Fatal, Lef Maclesian, and Majid Waris, they are part of his team. Oh, okay. Because he believes that wherever that they are, even if they don't play regularly, when they come to the national team, they play as he he, he as he wants. Mm. You understand? They get the job done for him. But Tony, the criteria is that if you don't play regularly, you don't get in there. You cannot just make statements, lose statements, sit back, change the statement anyhow, anywhere, and then 
we, we don't criticize it. Mm. I am not criticizing the individual as we see up here. I don't have any problem with him. Mm. I am looking at the words that have come from him. Mm. Initially, he did tell us that. If you don't play regular football anywhere, you will not be part of his team. Mm. We held his neck from day one until just about two days ago. He mm. decided to change it. Mm. Because players were not playing regularly anywhere. But so they were you still disagree in his with them moving or because everybody wants to be at a World Cup stage. That is why they are moving. Mm. That is why they are moving. Oh, okay. If Kwesi Apia had not made such a statement, Tony, I, I bet you most of the players would but have But aren't you happy that Olele has moved? Tony, you see, Olele, I am very sure that Olele will be at the World Cup. Come what me. Tony, Olele will be at the World Cup. Fatah Dauda, Adam Kwarase, Olele will be there. It is based on performance. He is telling us that it is based on performance. Once you play football regularly, then it means that he's seeing you as a potential candidate of being part of his 23-man squad to go to Brazil. And if Olele has also recognized that, look, I need to move to be recognized week in, week out, then I'll be able to play for the national team in Brazil and he's still the World Cup. That is why he has also moved. If not, yeah, well, wherever he was at Cyprus, wasn't he playing football? Yeah. He was playing football. It, it did not matter about the, 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 the level of the league. Whether the level of the league is as low as anything, whether the level of the league is as high as anything. That okay. Is, that is just let me see whether I have a defender, Rashid Smiler, on the line. And, uh, uh, the, uh, Rashid Smiler, let me see whether I can get Rashid Smiler. Oh, okay. 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 Opari, back to you. I wanted to talk to one defender who is playing consistently. Yes. Uh, Tony, I was making the point that the statement that has come from Kwesi Apia, that is how come players will begin to move. It doesn't matter their destination. It is only about getting enough playing time. So you can come to Mighty Jets, whether that is, is that, Mighty Jets alive. Oh yeah, we are in the group of thirty-two. Oh, okay. FA Cup. And are you playing? Yes, we play. We will play and go to sixteen. Okay. So maybe some players can even move to Mighty Jets. Sure, some have moved. <laughs> well, <laughs> once the players get playing time, okay, these are the players he will consider. Mm. And he says that. But well, you listen to Liadi, who has been consistent with the Dynamo Zagreb. Tony, see. When it comes to player selection, I have a strong belief that when the coaches sit back to select players, mm. at all times, you look at 16 of the, of the 23 players. Mm -hmm. If I were to be a coach, that's the same thing I would do. You look at 16 of the 23 or at least the court, 17, the, the core team. Mm -hmm. Those are the guys that you know that these are the guys that will get the job done for oh, me. Okay. okay. The rest, four, five, six players... Can be the French players that I know will be added to. Will, if if I I do give them the opportunity, mm. they'll be able to slot in, okay. do very well. Okay. Sometimes that is how come you see you can get players in there they, they, when they go to tournaments they, they don't get they don't kick any ball for the nation or for their club side, but yet still they are included in in every tournament that the the, the, the country or the, the club participates in. Mm. Sometimes it happens that way, but if we really say that want to win the World Cup, like we see up here, has said that he win the World Cup. I am not saying it. He did say it. Kwesin Yantechi has taxed the young mm. man that he should get to the finals of the World Cup, the semi-finals of the World okay. Cup. Right? If that is the tax, then it means that we don't need French players to add up this time. We need to use anybody who is we, replaced we, is a perfect replacement. Yes, we need capable players. Mm. Just imagine that in the period that Samuel Inkum wasn't playing any football anywhere, mm. if we had improvised and decided that, look, Liade should move to the left side, mm -hmm. then Harrison Afu to the right, right side, side, would we have had problems? No. If, probably but up no. To now, we are having a problem with the number three. I don't know. It's a difficult situation, and I think that, uh, I, I don't know. And uh, the little I know about Ghana football, that shouldn't have been it. Yeah. You understand? Maybe but for some period now, it's I been difficult. It's a been natural difficult. seven, a natural three. And we have failed as a nation to ensure that if we lack 
players on the left side or on the right side or, or at the middle, we have to also groom players to mm. fill that position. Maybe we James will send, will send us to the 70s and 80s, 60s, where we had ex excellent players. Good. Yet. So, James, let, mm. let me know. James, players are moving up. Our has rubbished their movement. It's not about just moving. You know, to be, to be consistent because Kusipi has said that, hey, if you're not playing, you're not going to play in the World Cup. And Kikwezi says, ah, for Michael, is constant. Fatal Dauda, constant. And which player again did he say? Uh, Majid Wards, constant. Aye. So, uh, it seems that Jordan Ayu has also moved. Uh, let's see. So, if you're a player and you're not playing, sitting on a bench for a big club like Real Madrid, please, move and come to Majid <laughs> and come and play. Because if you want to be part of the World Cup, and I know Liadi, you hand Liadi, I were trying to get his videos, uh, how he played in the uh, Dynamo Zagreb has been excellent. Everybody's talking about him. And uh, there are more players out there. We need to monitor them. And get, so if you know any player, you think that he's doing well, let's get the videos. Let's get in touch with them. Because some are playing very well. We are not getting to know them. And we'll, we'll make sure you also know which player is doing well and which player is not doing James? I want to touch on some issues that we probably raised. Mm. Uh, it is not new for a coach to declare players as best player. Claude Roy did it here. Mm -hmm. He said Larry Christine is his first choice player. Oh, yeah. uh, That was when I now analyzed that if that's the case, then Larry should play more to the right so that he will create a space for Stephen Apia and Michael at that time. You understand? Unfortunately, uh, Larry lost fever. That is the word that we use. And then he lost form. I think he has now moved to another country. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, two. A contract can be worded in any form. Opari should know that. I can decide to give a player a contract that you have to play every every week. What mm -hmm. is wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. Is it from the I club? have not said that it no, cannot not be from, worded. Not I, from I have not. I have not said that. that. So so if you, you have, give you just give me an example that player yes. I will go back. And don't that, me allow Yeah, you go back. So let's go to 66. Okay. At the World Cup in Sister Six, where, the CBO of Portugal. Hmm. Where were you? <laughs> well, no, you I know, yes, the uh, CBO of uh, Mozambique hmm. signed a contract with uh, of Portugal. Ben, of, in Port no, he moved from Africa to Europe. Europe yeah. And then the contract stated that he should play every match. What about that? Every match. Every match. So when they saw that he was being cheated because it was a lifetime contract and he was not being paid well as a foreigner, the lawyers look at the contract very well. And saw a loophole that it did not include training with the team. Have you seen it? It did not include the contract. Did not state that you have to train. So you stop training, and they have to amend the contract to incorporate the training and to increase the money. money. So the whole thing about life is intelligence, okay. information, and intelligence. Yeah. So now we come back to uh, players who are moving and who are not moving. I stand to be corrected this morning. I think during the week I heard that uh, the coach of the Black Stars said that it is not necessary that you should be playing regularly for your club. Yes, he said it. Uh -huh. So he has made two statements now. Yes, so well, Michael Lays, I'm coming. Mm. Two commitments uh, yeah. statements. Mm. One is that you have to play regularly for your club. club so you can move. If you go to a lower club like mm. a Jordan you. Or the other one is that you don't necessarily need to be playing regularly. So you can stay in Real Madrid. Or you can stay in Manchester uh, City and still play. But this is the World Cup stage, James. That was that. I said two statements, or you so, only want so, to take so one. And then, then, then the, the man is a, a double standard person. No, it is that maybe you give a, a clause, a, a leeway, a leeway. That's you the word. What will be the leeway? That if you are Michael Leeson, I mean, you have played the World Cup before, so I can take you. If you are Fatal Dauda, you, although you don't, don't, you don't play, play, if you don't play even in South Africa, I can I'll take, take you. you. So it's a leeway. It's just a so small. It's exception. not for everybody. Okay. In fact, to every rule. law or rule, there's some small exception, mm. and that is why A can go and commit a crime and will be jailed for a long, longer period. B can commit the same crime, and they look at the circumstances and give him a lesser sentence or pardon. Mm. Or yeah. so I think we should also be flexible in our analysis a okay. bit. Now the players who are who yeah. have moved. One interesting one is. Me and no Lily. You know, I said that it is not common to see a goalkeeper going to three World Cups. You remember that time? Yeah, last, last year or so, when Lily said that he will retire after the Brazil World Cup. And I, I said, that, ah, it's not possible because every product has an expiring date. Indeed. You remember those comments? And uh, <laughs> people drew my attention to the fact that Casillas and Co. 
have been to three World Cups. So I wish him well, honestly. Uh, I've so you see Olele coming back? Olele. I see Olele coming back. And when Olele comes back, we have to give credit to uh, Eddie Ansan, the goalkeeper trainer at that time. Mm. Because when I told people that Eddie Ansan is the best puncher of the ball in this country, a goalkeeper who punches the ball. And that is the, uh, what do you call it, weakness of Fatal Dauda now. So the new coach, the new goalkeeper coach, should perfect that act, mm -hmm. or should call Eddie Hansen to come and assist, so that we get a very solid team. Okay. Now, Liadi, I'm telling you, Tony, on a very very serious note, Ghana has suffered from this issue since '65. Why? We don't have natural uh, left footers. When you play left, when you go to school, they will drop you. If you go home, your mother will beat you. That you use your right. Am I lying? So there's a cultural reason for well, it. We have a, 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 Nana Kwesi Asari. Oh. We have uh, players currently, Niade. I'm, I'm coming okay. for all you are in a hurry. No. 65, uh, Samaka played with the right foot. But he was playing three. Three, yes. In fact, apart from you, Obilite, who used most of the time the left. Who oh, answer? No. Okay, let me make, make it fast. Yeah. Samakwa, uh, Ofe Ansan, what did he play to? Yeah. Uh, he played both sides. Uh, so Dante used left, uh, right to play left side in 1980 in uh, Nigeria, Cup of Nations. Uh, PSK Power used right to play left. When I did all this, thing, then uh, so Dante called me and told me that John Satukofio said he should explain to me that you don't necessarily need to be a natural left footer to play that position. So you, it will be an advantage. It is the greatest advantage because the way the game is, the, 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 those who crafted the game, they crafted it as, 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 a, as a, a, what do you call it, a W. W, that is the right side and then the left side. They balance it. Are you getting the alphabet. letter, yeah, the alphabet W? V. Have you seen it now? The Germans will say V. Okay, so... On the left side, we have those days are the left full back, huh? and then the right full back, full back. left half back, and right half back, back. and then the central defender. Yeah, yeah. Then you have the right wing, left wing, mm. right inside, left inside. Center then you have the uh, center, the striker. Before, yeah. Now people have come to change the whole thing. Sometimes we play Serbia uh, system one top. What is the meaning of one top? Only as Amwajan playing one top. Then you have to shift Prince Tego to the right. It is wrong. Because he is also a striker. So what I'm trying to say is that things have changed so much so that the mm. game too has evolved and we are all getting uh, confused. Mm. Uh, that is what I want to bring out. Okay. So if uh, the players are moving and Liadi is in top shape, I don't see him being out of the team. Yeah. And I think to his credit, when we won the Under-20 uh, World Cup, FIFA wrote something about him. I think he's the, he was the best crosser of the ball. No, no, Niadi. Niadi. Is it Niadi or Liadi? Niadi. This is the black star player. Uh -huh. And the other one, the lefty, uh, yeah, the left yeah, guy, Wild Stars, uh, Wild Stars guy. Uh -huh, yes, Portugal. okay. Thanks for the correction. Yeah, so. so this uh, Liadi too has come up using a left foot. Mm. And that position should belong to him because Harrison uses more of the right. Although he scored with the left for experience, you understand. Uh, Opari too uses more of the right. So we should encourage people who are using the left and then they come in. This is not a national problem. It's an international problem. Okay. Yes, even Brazil, since Carlos left, they've not had that strong left fullback okay. for their team. So that is the contribution. Okay, you can also join us. Uh, it's not all about just moving. Everybody wants to play. And James said that Christian Pians made two statements. He's a man of uh, double standard. Because if you say, hey, and he said there's no exception. I quite remember the likes of... Um, is it Dunga? Not Dunga. Uh, this Brazilian pay, pay player, he will not train, but he knows how Romario. to do Romario. Romario. Romario I mean, <laughs> uh, so quickly, let me do some message. They will come to House of Folk. Hey, hey. trouble. Money. Coach Duncan is rich, but I, against Togby, I'm telling you, come on to me. That money is peanuts. Ah, <laughs> let, let me be frank. Maybe some of you don't know Togby Afere, James Apo. He has the money. So let's see. But let's see quickly. Let me go to my text console where my producer, Bevelyn, boom. <laughs> She's now scrolling. I know Bevelyn was late today. Hey, 2014. Trouble. <laughs> and quickly before I let so let me start with my text messages. And Olele should be at Brazil at all costs, Michael. I salam down. Thank you, Mike. He says that calf is a disgrace to the continent. Oh, Mikel will be 
deserve the award, Warlord in Lomé. Samuel Inkum's move is just to guarantee him a place to Brazil, Jojo, in Accra. World Cup is not a child's play. The coach should be vigilant in selecting the players. Banku in circle, Accra. Hey. Olele is World Cup material. The coach, Christian Pia, must add him to the team. Joe Saki, Latebi Okoshi. Hey, Saki, you have another name somewhere. Fatao should also move elsewhere. I say who is active should be the number one goalkeeper. Okay, George in Teshi. Tony, Car fans really disappointed me. Why should they do that? I totally disagree with Opai. Calf is not fair from Y square in Temo. How do you disagree with Opai? Opai was saying that. Uh, You're saying what you have said. Okay, so let me quickly act activate my phone line 0302211705. It's a sports review show. Every Saturday, when we're looking at the Chan competition, we'll just fall out of salt, if I may say. And the Black Stars, everybody's moving, no moving on load. Everybody's going somewhere, everybody's coming somewhere because Chris Yapi has issued a warning. But let me come to the camp of Akar Hasofu. Obari Hasofu, trouble, going to cough out almost 84,000 Ghana CDs. Yes, um, well, that, that, that is the decision from the Status, status Committee. Yeah. The status Committee. Um, I am not speaking because. I am um, a house person, mm. you understand. I want to look at it holistically, as in the reality on the ground. House of Folk has a contract uh, with Good David job. Duncan. And in the contract, it is stated that in times that okay. I dispense... Let, <coughs> let me pick my first caller before okay. I because I know the House of Folk viewers are interested to know what is going to happen. And I said it, 84,000 Ghana, 840,000. With Saki, if Saki gets this money, hey, it will not be easy. But uh, Opa is explaining why, if whether House of Folk is going to pay or what actually is going to happen. Let me go to Alex. Where are you calling me from? I'm calling from Don Kokrum. Don Kokrum, how is Don Kokrum? Afishapa and Happy New Year. Afishapa, Afishapa to you too. I didn't get time to wish uh, Mr. James. Oh, yeah, the old boy. Okay. So I wish him Afishapa too and Opa. Okay. Uh, let me go straight to my point. I think you people are doing a good work. Thank you. Thank God. We are still alive, and we are you are giving us the update and everything about sports. And I think Opare is learning from uh, the, the strong mind, James, because today the tactical things that he have put on board, I think he's learning one or two things from his own man. Okay. And I think he should, he should uh, keep on doing the good work. <laughs> and I think the World Cup is not is not an easy platform mm. because uh, every team, everybody wants to just appear at the World Cup. So I think the move that the players are going here and there. I think it's up Ghana so that it will better their their skills in in anywhere that you go. I think I will end up here. Good to you, Ripo. Good morning. Thank you very much, Alex, for your contribution. I heard it. So I say, hey, the World Cup is not a plain thing for a crying child. Mm -hmm. eh? The World Cup is not a plain thing for a crying child. There is something I should have said before that, oh, but that I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> Who is on the line? Uh, Mo Mubarak, calling from where? Koforidia. Before the Mubarak, what do you have for us this morning? I greet your viewers this morning. Amen. First of all, I I disagree with Opare's comment for him to say Kosiata is a double standard man. That is not true. In every statement, there's, there, there could be a clause. He has made his yeah. own, saying that he's already having some key players Mubarak. he would like to use. Mubarak. I'm listening. Yeah, let, let me let me make that correct. Opari didn't say it's a man of. I said that. James says that the but man said fact, certain you said people. That. Will... I agree with you. You said that, but that's what what he said meant that. Yes. Okay. I agree with you. I heard you saying it okay. after he has made that. Okay. But what he said meant what you said. Okay. Okay. So for you to have said, because the FBI is making two statements, no. Okay. It, it could be. It, it could still be a one statement. Okay. Meaning that he needs my Galatians for something. He is the coach now. If he should lose Ghana, I'm going to blame him. Okay. He thinks my Galatians will suit him for what he wants. If he's not even so playing, whether he plays or not. In fact, my Galatians is not playing. To, it's not totally playing. Yeah. He sometimes plays, so he still sees what he likes in the few times my Galatians is playing. Mm. In what Juarez has done, he still sees something he likes. To be fair to your players. Mm. In fact, we are we we saw Duncan losing 
making uh, the under 20 or even the champ team. And yesterday I had, I was watching and it was like there was a disaster in 2011 with Kujang Duncan. Yeah. So you see, Duncan is being blamed. So if he's having a player he needs, you should give him the chance. Let him take the player he's using or he wants to use and give us the results. Okay. Most of the time, if we give our coaches the chance, the chance to bring, to give us the results. Thank okay, you. Mubarak, thanks for your contribution. Uh, but it seems uh, Mubarak didn't get up right. So oh, I'll, oh. I'll give him a little scenario. Yeah. If he has two children, mm. right, he takes care of them excellently. Then one day, he, he calls these two children. Then he tells one of them that. Or he says to the, the whole family that, look, if you don't get 70% in your mathematics exams, mm. right, what I'll do to you, you'll not like it as a son. But as for you, whatever you get, I'm happy. <laughs> so that's another that's scenario for you. Let me go to Ishmael. Ishmael, good morning. Yes. Uh, why are you calling me for Ishmael? Yeah, I'm calling for Tumu. Tumu, okay, Ishmael, what do you have for us this morning? Yeah, uh, I want to talk of. Do you understand? Yeah, um, it's about Fatal Joy, the first choice goalkeeper for the Black Stars. Mm. Because looking at it, Fatal Joy is a dormant. In his club, he's okay. not Yeah, he's not so regular. I think the opportunity to be given to uh, lots of quarters to do the job for us okay. in the World Cup. Because the World Cup is not a, okay. a small place for yeah. experiment or something like that. Because someone who is active is supposed to okay. do the job okay. for us in the World Cup. So okay. I think the question appears to do well and then give Adam Quarters the chance to do that. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Uh, Ishmael believes that. Uh, let me see the next one. Uh, uh, let me go to Sule. Sule, I'll pick Sule and hold on for Opayo to explain what is happening to Akara Asafog Duncan. And uh, Opayo is talking as an individual, not an official of Asafog. Don't get our... Who is, who is the next caller? Who? Sule, call in from here. From Bolga, this is Sule. Okay, Sule, what do you have for us this morning? Bolga. Yeah, Sule, what do you have for us? I, I totally agree with the old man. Cap, cap. Calf is a disgrace to African football. <laughs> Mikel Obi deserved it. I don't know the criteria they use in selecting their best player. Oh, okay. But if uh, Mikel Obi could carry Nigeria to win the African Cup of Nations, Yaya Toure stopped at the quarterfinals. <laughs> so are we talking of players playing abroad or African players? Mm. This is our continent. And we should deal with our continent performance okay. and not just Europe performance. Okay. But I uh, to all the issues. I don't know what could appear will mean uh, people will mean by uh, World Cup material. World Cup material is somebody who can perform. We shouldn't deal with men. If uh, Michael Asian will move prove to us he's a World Cup material, all the prove to us they are World Cup material, fine, they deserve to be there. If they don't perform it's Ghana we want to move forward. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, quickly, let me hold on my calls. And uh, quickly, I know the house supporters would like to know Duncan's issue. Up are you on the Duncan issue? Yes, Tony. I was um, saying that House of Folk, did, um, House of Folk has a contract with um, David Duncan. Duncan. They abrogated and it? Yes, abrogated the contract. Mutually? And then, yes, mutual agreement. Okay. Then it is said in the contract that was signed that two and a half years contract with David Duncan. Mm -hmm. It is part of the contract that it says that Performer? in any time that the coach is sat, he will be paid three months of his salary. It's as simple as that. So it was included? It, is, it, it, it was included in that. And so the status committee didn't get that Tony, company? if I were to be speaking as an individual, right, I don't think I, I, what the status committee did Probably they were informed by something else. Yeah. And not based on the contractual issue. Is, is it that they don't have a copy? What they say is that between now and the end of, the, of his contract, mm -hmm. that the proposed end of his contract with House of Oak, the man would not have a job. That is what they are saying. Between now and then, he would have been earning winning bonuses. Mm -hmm. Between now and then, he would have been earning allowances. That is why they have decided that all of that accumulated should be paid to him. 
But coaches have moved three times but in, Tony, in a season. But the problem is that if we want to be serious with issues in football to develop football, this is not the way to go. The reality must be told. <clears throat> if it is a contract, Tony, see, with that contract between House of Oak and David Duncan, mm -hmm. if you get it to any courtroom, if you get it to any courtroom, right, House of Oak will walk away free. I don't know what decision <clears throat> the status committee, the gentlemen there, were informed from what decision that well, made them According to the, local, that. You know, the General Secretary of Local Coaches Association, it is the beginning of good things to happen to local coaches. Tony, you see, if, we, if, 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 if sometimes we want to use personal interest, if we want to prove to some people that, look, we also book now. I want to prove to you that when I get you, I can pin you somewhere. Yeah. Right? If that is how we want to go about it, I don't have a problem. But the House of Folk lawyers here to react to. Definitely House of Folk will, 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 will put in an appeal. So who is the House of Folk? No, no, not Ernest Thompson. Definitely House of Folk will put in an appeal yeah. or by Monday. Yeah. But the problem is that if you, do, if you do put in an appeal, the same gentlemen who did sat on the issue, who, they are the same people you are going to meet one more time. If they had any informed decision to turn it around, they would have done it. But these are the same individuals we are going to meet again. If I come before Tony and James and they tell me that, look, don't wear any red shirt anymore, and I go and come back again wanting to appeal to wear red shirt, I am coming to meet the same, the same men. People. They will not change their mind. Okay, so uh, you heard House of Folk issues there. Uh, Opari says that House is going to react come Monday, so it is not a done deal. The Statux Committee have a different thing, and uh, Koja James. It's a very sensitive issue. Very sensitive. It's very, very sensitive, honestly. On one side, you sympathize with the, someone who has been, whose contract has been abrogated, mm -hmm. who, according to the Status Committee, may not be employed so. till the time. So that's how they came about with that. On the other side, when you look at the contract, I was listening to Wahid. Muhib. Muhib. He said it is three months' salary if your contract is terminated. So I don't it's know. It's documented. It's documented. Oh, I heard you. In fact, I will go for a copy myself by Monday. Because we need to put things in order, like Opari is saying. We don't need to make personal decisions. Mm. And it, should, it, should, it should be on paper. And as for us appealing and meeting the same people, I doubt it. It will be, uh, it will be the appeals committee, not the status committee again. Okay. You understand? Or the disciplinary committee of the Premier League. No, we have two different mm -hmm. committees. Uh -huh. It will not be the same gentleman. The FA and the Premier League. Yes. What that means is that the gentleman who took that decision will not be those who will look at that. So I wish both sides, uh, what do well. you call it? I wish them well. There should be a speedy reconciliation. Has he returned the vehicle? Yes. Uh -huh. He has returned the vehicle. Uh, but I know the House of Folk fans are eager. But let me open the lines. For picking some two or three callers before I leave, 030. Although my lines are beeping. You're still on the sports review. Let me go straight. Who do I have on the line? Mohammed calling from where? Mohammed, good morning. Mohammed, good morning. Yeah, Hello. Mohammed, my name is Mohammed calling from Walwale. Wali. Okay, Mohammed, what do you have for us this morning? Yeah, I just want to thank your panelists for updating us this morning. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I want to uh, plead to Opari. I believe every single individual in Ghana knows what Michael Ethan can add to the Black Stars squad. Okay. If he, if, if he should be included to go to Brazil 2014, with the name uh, of Michael Ethan mentioned to some of the uh, uh, Portuguese players who are also playing in their local league, also knows that Michael Ethan is one of the best players who can also do something that will help the team win against Portugal or even German. Oh, okay. Yeah, so and I believe that... So you believe, Asian, you believe, you believe uh, that names uh, play football? Players, uh, what that we have in Ghana, we can, we, can, we can beat Germany and Portugal. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Let me go to Nicolas, who's my last caller. Uh, Nicolas, thank you very much. Our time is now on our side. Nicolas, good morning. Okay, I think I've missed him. So that's my last... Oh, but you heard a man. Then we need to bring... Then, then your man's son should come and play because Still we all know when your man's son is fit, what he'll be able to do. 
Stephen Apia. We all know what Olele has done before. He should come and play. Then we all know what Stephen Apia so can do. He should come names. and play. It, is, it should be about performance. Mm. How can you take players who are not performing to a tournament? Okay. We have done the same thing, gone through that all, and never won anything. And we still want to go back and do that. Okay, James, yes, your final uh, words. Uh, Your time uh, is fast, man. Thank, thank you. Just add a wrap-up. Yes, uh, the last time when we went to the World Cup, uh, Felix Abaiti, the editor, wrote, See, the World Cup is not a galaxy of unfit stars. So. It's not a galaxy of names. It's a platform for well-prepared uh, players to demonstrate their skills. That's the meaning of the World Cup. So if somebody wants to take a, a player A to the World Cup because of his name, or he wants to take him there because of uh, uh, his face, then he's playing a very uh, dangerous game. It should be those who are actually fit, qualified to play. In fact, the selection should be such that anybody who picks up a playing sheet can write the lineup without consulting another person. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Obari, final words. Uh, yes, time is fast. Um, One thing that bothers my mind is will be the chant tournament will be will starting they, will today. Start today, right? It's only six o'clock. When did our FA president leave Ghana to get to, um, uh, 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 on Thursday? Because okay. I heard him on yeah. Thursday here, yeah. leaving Ghana Thursday evening. He went to um, Nigeria first. The FA communications director, Asani Dara, as of yesterday, in the morning at least, was also still here yeah, in Ghana. Ghana yeah. Okay. Would they have done the same had it been the Blasters <laughs> going to play at the Brazil tournament? Hey, Obari. Obari. <laughs> Obari. Fireman. Eh? No. Would it have been the same? No, it could have been the same. When no, the that, time came only the for the balloting. That, that one, the per diem is big. When the time ca came for only the balloting, mm -hmm. did they waste any time here? They spent several days there. No, you say you have sent Tamimu. Tamimu. Isn't Tamimu in this country telling us that? He has not been granted visa to travel to South Africa. That is true. And is he, Sunny Dyer, not aware? He is aware. If he had... You see, he... I, I don't know why, Sunny. I think that... Uh, okay. Time is far spent, but uh, quickly, uh, I know James would like to congratulate me officially. Oh, you're <laughs> 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 I, I called up, I... Yes. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the club. <laughs> and you know that his grandfather has given him uh, already a name already. So the good news, I will thank the Almighty God... Um, for my wife uh, delivering safely. We thank God all for your support. And uh, maybe one day I'll bring my daughter to the studio. <laughs> and uh, I'll unveil her name as well. And kudos to all my team members, Nathaniel Ato, Rashid, Rashid, uh, George, um, Benedict, Ridwan, Samir and Chi, everybody who is in support of everything we do here. 2014, you're part of the show. And uh, not forgetting my, my late camera, the producer, Beverly, and I think that she should change. And Saki, the inspirational man for, and he is the spiritual head of the show. And Mr. Dami is around for the first time, 2014, maybe different, wind is blowing. So, you, the show is for you, and uh, my sweet daughter again, Safako, Princess Safako, uh, Antoinette, du Duce, Beverly, wherever you are, I don't know where you're sleeping. So, uh, that's how we draw the curtains down. I'll say au revoir. See you. Come next Saturday right here at the same time. It's the sports review and you're part of the show. Bye-bye.